tonight to win the fight on two of the judges' scorecards, 114, 112, twice. Two weeks. Miracle Boy Boxing. I'm your host, Hosting Cruz, ladies and gentlemen. Well, you saw it. The Amazing Boy, Kenshiro Taraji. 23 wins. Well, now, we have 23 wins, 1 loss, 14 knockouts. Has retained his unified titles, the WBA title, and the WBC title. Um, against former world champion, former WBA light flyweight champion, Carlos Canizales from Venezuela. Um, let's talk about the fight, ladies and gentlemen. That fight was as good as it gets at 108 pounds, man. One of the best fights you'll see at 108 pounds in any era of the weight class in the history of boxing, in the history of the 108 pound division. Um, and the, it surpassed expectations. I did not expect the fight. I mean, a lot of people, I expected the fight to be good, but it, it surpassed expectations, man. These two guys went at it for a full 12 rounds. Um, you hit me, I hit you back harder, giving and taking punches and punches and bunches. Um, Rock'em Sock'em Robots, um, vicious, vicious and savage exchanges in the, in the middle of the ring. A lot of back and forth. This fight was really hard to score. Um, one minute you think Kanizade is going to take over the round when he bursts with a combination. And here comes Taraji coming back with some solid jabs and thund thunderous right hands. Um... Both guys trade knockdowns. They got dropped, both of them. Um, it was a competitive, brutal, vicious 108-pound title fight in Japan. And um, when we made the trip to Japan to see that fight, got their money's worth. And, of course, whoever were in there in person uh, got their money's worth. And, of course, whoever woke up so early in the morning and stayed in, the, in, um, in America, you know, um... The wake up was was, was worth it. Um, Kinshiro Taraji again proves once again why he is one of the best, if not the best, 180 pounder in the world today, and one of Japan's top fighters in the world today. Um, that was, this was a tremendous fight. This year just started, man, and we already have some firefights. You know, with uh, Michaela Maynard against. Um, Jonas in um, in the UK, um, tremendous women's fight at 147 pounds, and then we got Jason Maloney against a guy from Mexico. Forgot his name already, but um, it was the first time me seeing him fight, and everyone else, you know, he, that was a world stage, and there was a lot of back and forth in that fight. Um, another top fighter of the year candidate. You know, and that fight reminds me of this fight right here with Taraji and uh, Kanizales. A lot of back and forth, a lot of brutal exchanges, vicious shots, home run shots landing on each other. So, Kinshiro really got a close call here. He could have lost his fight without a question. Without a question, without a question. Um, could have gone either way for me. Could have been a draw, but Kinshiro really got away with this, within the skin of his teeth because. It was a really close fight. He probably won the fight. He probably won the fight by one by one round or something like that. Because, you know, in that last round, you could have given it to Kanizales because Kanizales was an aggressor. He was looking for the shot. He was looking. He was coming to fight. And Taraji, all he was doing is getting away, trying to be defensive, play it safe. Shane, you know, like Oscar De La Hoya did against Tito Trinidad in their fight, which which cost him the fight, in my opinion. You know, the last four rounds, he he did what Taraji did. Uh, move, 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 get out of the way, get out of harm's way to try to make it to the final bell. And uh, that could have cost Taraji. That last round could have cost Taraji, you know. Um, but be that as it may, man, it was a tremendous fight. Um, Kenshiro Taraji proves again why he is number one at 108. Um, pound for pound, one of the top pound for pound boxers in the world today. Um, in my opinion, Kenshiro is the best Japanese fighter. That's not Inayo Inui. You know, I think he's number two in my book. Number three is Hunto. I think, in my opinion, number three for me is Hunto Nakatani. He's my favorite Japanese fighter right now. And, uh, of course, for him to be, he's, even though he's my favorite, you know, I'm neutral, you know. I'm going to keep him at number three because he's still got a lot of proof. You know, he's already a world champion. Um, uh, 
winning big fights impressively by knockout. And uh, looking impressive every time he steps in the ring, uh, in my opinion. And uh, you know he's got some he's got some more work to do to to, to show me that he can be number one when it comes to Japanese boxing. Uh, it's gonna be definitely hard to take off now. You knew he off number one. I think he's gonna be remain there until he retires because I don't see no one beating that guy. I don't see no one beating you know, Nui. And it's gonna be hard to be someone like Kinshiro Taraji because Kinshiro Taraji got dynamite in both hands and he can end the fight with one shot, especially that laser sharp and accurate uh, deadly right hand that he has. He can shoot at any time and once it lands, you're 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 likely hurt, dropped, or knocked out. You know, and that's that's one shot that uh, Bomba has to worry about if they fight uh, sometime down the road. Hopefully this year, once our Bomba hopefully gets past Ranger Santiago, which is a which is a pretty good fight as well. Uh, no kickwalk because uh, Rainy Rainy can also you know he's a he's a he can fight. He's a good fighter, so you can't sleep on him. But um, yeah, Kinshiro man did it again. The amazing boy retains his titles. Unified titles in a close, razor thin fight. Um, dodged a bullet. To, he dodged a bullet in Japan today, earlier this morning. Um, again, on to better and bigger things. Carlos Canizades, uh back to the drawing board. You know, former world champion. He'll be back. He'll be back. Canizades uh, really put up a hell of a fight, man. Hell of a fight. What a performance. You know, um, yeah, just want to talk to you guys about that fight, man. That was a tremendous back and forth fight. But definitely an early fight of the year candidate. Uh, this is the third fight of the year candidate so far in my book. Uh, this one, Kishiro Taraji versus Carlos Canizares. Uh, Natasha Jones versus uh, Michaela Mayer. And uh, Jason Maloney versus. Uh, Guy from Mexico, man. I forgot his name already. Let me look him up real quick for you guys. My first time seeing him fight, and you see Jason Maloney. Here we go, guys. So, Saul Sanchez, Saul Sanchez, and he will be back as well, man. He was a he's a he's a warrior. Uh, tough, tough Mexican fighter. I mean, I know, I don't know which Mexican isn't tough, but uh, yeah, you almost pulled it out against Jason Maloney. But Jason Maloney, man, that was that was that could have been a draw in my book as well. But you know, that's that's the that was the first fight of the year candidate in my book. Then you got Natasha Jones versus Michaela Mayer, number two, and then we got Kinshiro Taraji Carlos versus Carlos Canizales at number three. So three. Early fight of the year candidates in the first month of 2024. Incredible. Incredible boxing. Incredible boxing. Um, you know, this is what happens when you match the best versus the best in the weight class. Um, even though Michaela Mayer went up to 147, she is an elite fighter. Um, so we'll see what happens in the future. Um, hopefully the next fight for Kinshiro will be Jonathan La Bomba Gonzalez in a unification. Um, of course, in Japan, it's going to happen. Um, again, Bomba has to beat Rene Santiago, which is no cakewalk, like I said. Um, Rene might spoil the party, might change plans. Could be Rene versus Kenshiro. Never know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, Miracle Boy Boxing, guys. I'm your host, Austin Crew. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, guys. So, the player talk to you guys about boxing right here. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.